Well, I was watching Murloc 68 pick on his Pepe's lock. And like I said, I've been looking for one of those for a while. So I went into eBay again and searched and found this cross lock, which is, I wanted a cross lock padlock because I've got uh, a cross lock, a Chinese cross lock cam lock. I've got a clear one and everything, but I hadn't run into a padlock. Now, there are other companies that make better ones than this, but this one is a ABFCS Locks Top Security. And it says, security, 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 security. They said it four times. And it's got a little check mark in it. Okay. Pardon, which I doubt. Lock and secure your important places. Okay, 63 millimeter. I haven't picked it or anything. Let's first, let's see if the keys work. These things, usually there's a notch cut out to align the top. Sometimes there's a, a red dot or something like this. But this one, you just have to look. It's the longer leg is the top part. Works fairly well. Let's see if it works without the key going all the way in. No. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta pick it. Um, what I usually do is on this one, the widest one is on the very top up here. It's going to be hard to tension this guy with a thick tension wrench. So let me make sure again which way it turns to open. Uh oh, I didn't try all the keys now, did I? Oh, you're grabbing the wrong thing, you idiot. Got to get the right keys for the right lock. Yeah, okay. We got to go that way with it. So I'm going to tension down here kind of like this. I think maybe, maybe not. Not with that one, you're not. I might have to use the top of the keyway. Yep. All right, where is it? Where is it? Oh, where is my top of the keyway stuff. Use a fairly thick one first. I always try the thickest top of the keyway one because yep, that's gonna work. All right, put a little tension on it. Now sometimes you can just rake these guys. You rake one side and then you rake the other. There are no, there are no pins on this side. There are no pins on this side. And there are no pins on that side. It's a cross-shaped lock, but your pins are only on the top. That's one way I guess you can get around it. Let me check that and make sure. Um. Yeah. No pins. Except for the top and... Really, they're spaced out. I think there's only one. Well, that one's all the way to the top. No, there's only one. It's really dark in here. It's really hard to see. Oops. I got my hat on. I bumped that. I see one pin and then like one, two, three. All the rest of the guys are all the way to the top. Weird. I, there's probably only one pin you got to pick. Look at the bidding again. This thing shows one, two, three, four, five, six cuts on the top. And the side cuts are different, but there's nothing in there. I mean, there's, there's a different bidding on these side cuts on the key. If you look at each other, 
they're not exactly the same. But there's no pins in here, so it doesn't matter what that is. I think there's only really... All right, I feel too. Yeah, I feel all the pins in here. In my case, I should be able to tension down here. Let's see if I can do a bottom of the keyway tensioner on it. And uh, try raking the puppy. Yeah. It pretty much takes up all the room in there, though. Gobbles up the whole keyway. Huh. I feel it. The core trying to move. I think this is just... Yeah, I think this, uh, this rake is, I mean, this tension wrench is, uh, blocking the, raising the pins up too high, oversetting them. Top of the keyway raking isn't as easy to do, because you tend to miss pin one, and you knock your tension wrench out. All right, for a little Chineseium lock, I thought I would have been in it by now. Um, you probably can front core shim it. I'm going to try picking it some more. Try to click off one. Two feels set. Set. This is a weird lot. Over set one. Maybe there's a little uh, check pin thing on the end that you've got to push. If the key were in there, I didn't see anything. Right through the flashlight. Oh, there he is. I mean, let's inspect this guy a little further. Alien technology. You pin one is sitting right there. He's way down. And then we're pin two, three, and four. They're all the way up in the chamber, way above this. The key pins are not dropped down, and they look like they're smaller diameter. But there's nothing but a straight. You can just run a pick straight on this side. You don't hit any pins. Down the bottom. No pins. No pins. Pin right there. Yep, there's pins in there. I felt like I... Maybe this thing is bypassable also. <clears throat> this, uh, this keyway is so dark. Even a flashlight shining down in here, it's like a cavern. You can't see anything shining back or reflecting. It's not brass. It's like a gold paint over, gold paint over uh, iron, cast iron or cheap steel. All right, let's keep at it, though. Never know what you get. See, I'm getting torque on the cylinder, so... We should be able to pick it like any other lot. Definitely quick. I got a feel set, man. And there aren't any other pins back there. Break a pick. I 
You know, for having this weird profile and everything, and and only having the pins on the top, this is a halfway decent lock. For resisting picking, I'm going to go with a little bit lighter tension. I've been bullying it, but I want to go a little bit lighter and see if maybe it wants a lighter touch. I felt something on that one. It was all the way in the back. That was number two. I'm trying to get a one. Mm, a solid click on it. There we go. Three. Yeah, you you got to put a lot of tension on it. And there's only pins on the top. I'll see if I can get this guy to zoom in. Once you know how to do it, it's going to be easier to pick and everything. I'm trying to get my finger over here without knocking the camera. Zoomage. We're looking for a zoomage, Mr. Camera. All right, and then now we need some focusing on your part. All right, you can see the pins up there on the top. Let's see if I can get this light to shine. Help us in there. Didn't really help. Anyway, there's your pins. But there's nothing on either side. Or the bottom. So, typical Chinese trick. You know, make it look like. See this one here, they didn't. They didn't mess around. They didn't even put any cuts on it. So this is basically your bidding right here. And the rest of this is just... They could have left no cuts in it. But it's just showing off. Look. There are pins on the side here. And there are pins over there. And there are pins over here. And Yeah, there aren't. There are just pins on the top. Pretty good though. I mean... If you didn't know what you were doing, you'd look at it and go, well, what the hell? And even though I did know what I was doing, you saw how long it took me. Like 10 minutes to get into the damn thing. But that's what happens when you do out of the package pick. You don't know how long it's going to take. You don't know what you're going to run into. And A, B, there's an A, and then an S, and then a B, F, C. Big friggin Chinese a big friggin Chinese yes snake surprise a big friggin Chinese surprise now nah, we've interpreted it a b f c s a big a big frigging you can substitute another f word there Chinese surprise surprise Thank you for watching, and happy picking, everyone.